Morning. Morning. Do you feel like Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct? Uh, I don't. I feel more like um, about two armchair robots. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? Um, we pulled it back indoors again because it's blowing gawking out there. Um, it all looks right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you will need a chair this morning um, for some of the exercises that we're going to do. Um, so we've got two sets of dumbbells, I've got a set of tens, Hannah's got a set of fives, we've got a chair, um, and that's pretty much all we're going to need. Um, the weights will be perfect for um, the, but well, Hannah's weights will be perfect, my weights will be perfect for the bicep work. You might just find that some of the row work really need to slow down, because right? the back muscle is quite a big muscle, so some of the stuff where we're going to go into the bent over position and we're going to work the row. Um, if I'm flying off for it, that weight's not going to be enough for me and vice versa for Hannah. So uh, if you've got particularly heavy weights, as always, just push yourself to failure. Okay, if you've got um, particularly light weights like we have, we're just going to really slow things down. Um, for the biceps, it'll be fine. Um, it's just that you know, kind of that pole work where the muscles are that much bigger than the biceps. That we might find that a little bit easy. All right, okay. There's not a great deal we can do warm-up wise here. Um, we can stand here and do some of this on our arms. We can stand and kind of rotate our, our shoulder blades, things like that. Um, often in the gym, if I was doing a back session or a bicep session, I would start with some pull-ups, okay, and then I would probably go into some um, chin-ups. So I get my biceps warm, get my back warm, just using my body weight. Um, but I'm not going to try and hang off the architrave. I don't think it'll take my weight. So we're just going to get straight on into it. The first two exercises are going to be then, we're going to work a shrug movement, okay, so we're just going to get those shoulder blades up and away, okay, I'm going to go with that one, all right, and all I'm doing then is standing square on, taking the weights in my hand, and I'm bringing my shoulder blades up, nice and slow, up, nice and slow. Hannah's going to be in the seated position here with the two dumbbells, okay, she's going to pull the shoulder blades back, so she's really trying to arch uh, and pull the shoulder blades together, okay, keeping the elbows down at the sides, and we're going to go for a bicep curl alternate. So as soon as this one is back, this one can go. As soon as this one's back, this one can go. I'm going to stay on Hannah's timings. So when she does one, two, that is one of my reps. Okay, so I'm pausing at the top, really slowing that down. Let's jump into it. You'll see what we're talking about now if you're not quite sure. We're going to go. We're going to go for 15 or 12 to 15. So 12 minimum, 15 maximum. Let's go. Good. That's it. So that's one for me. You'll count 15 and nine pounds, yeah? That's it. So you're really just trying to chuck your chin on your chest. Oh, get those traps working. God, it's quiet without the kids, isn't it? I'm on seven. That pause is really effective. Ten. On a light weight. as well, ducking the chin And Hannah's going to go. I haven't quite finished. I haven't quite finished? Am I ahead of you, am I? Yeah. How many you want? This is my last one. Ah, oh, good. Okay. I'll rush ahead of Hannah there. Good. Nice work. So Hannah's out. She's going to step to the left. No, that's the right. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you move off the touch? Shall I go that side? You can go that side if you want. I've just not got room to do the curls. I've got much bigger arms than you, Hannah. Go on, let's go. So we're going to go for a 30 second rest at the end of this. Good, guys, that's me on six. I was trying to hold that pace with my 10. Good, I've got three more on my right. Ready? Oh, I'm just spouting my shorts. And <coughs> that's one. And rested. Nice work. 30 seconds off, guys. Okay, make sure you've got. A drink handy, we're going for 30 seconds, we're going to go again. We're going to do three sets of that. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, so 15 seconds, shake out. One set in, I've got to say, I can really feel that in my traps on my biceps already, actually, and it's just that slowing down. Yeah, I think a lot of the time we're so keen to 
um, when we're in the gym, you know, with the stuff to do and you haven't got very long, and it's in there, and you're smashing it out. Sometimes the really slow these sessions down this can be really, really effective. Okay, ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Six. really helps to stop your body from swinging around. Keeping that form on the bicep. Good guys, I'm on seven on the right. Ten. Good. Last five on the right. Two more right. One. And rest in. Nice work. 30 seconds off then. Quick drink. Let's see what we've got in with us. Oh, let's have a look here. We've got Big Dave. He's got all his protein in now. Catherine Deutsch, Ben. Abby. Max, how you doing? Tracy Sadie. And here's the one I was looking for. Happy birthday to Ben May. Happy birthday, Ben, a very good friend and business partner of mine, partner in crime. Got lots of exciting things um, happening this year and, and to happen. So happy birthday, mate. Hope you have a good day. Um, not so great that your daughter was in having uh, her arm or hand put back in place yesterday, um, but I'm sure you'll have a good day anyway. And hopefully this rain holds off so we can go do a bit of clay pigeon shooting on Saturday. Okay, ready? Last set of these. Let's go. Uh, if you haven't seen, there's a fetching picture of Ben on my Facebook page, uh, wearing a hairnet. One of the best pictures I think I've ever seen of him. You should pop along and have a little look at that one. Okay. Just up there, five there? Yeah. Good. That's ten guys, last five. Pound of five on our right. Okay, three. Ah, two down. Ah, lovely. Good, so we've only fives and tens. We're really getting a hell of a burn there. Okay, let's go then. And you can tell Holly that this is making my tennis elbow feel great. That's me on ten. Come on, three left, three on my right. Two, one on my right. Finish the left and rest in. Thirty seconds, guys. Shake out. That's a nice little super set. That oh, I've got a good burn on. Right, so what we're going to go for next then? I'm going to go for a standing. Um, curl, right, so I'm going to do very similar to what we just did, 
However, I'm going to go doubles on the next one. So I'm in this position, okay, I'm going to bring them up, twist, and away, up, twist, and away. Hannah on the other side of the bench, other side of the chair, is going to go into this position, slight bend in the knees as so she's driving her knees towards the floor, sticking her bum out, trying to keep her back there nice and straight, and they're going to go with the arm, up, slowly down, up, slowly down. So I've got on this side, so basically what she's trying to achieve there, let's try to keep the shoulders nice and level, like what you see a lot of people do, and this one is twist, all right, you've got to try and keep your shoulders nice and square, pull the elbow back and away, back and away, and really get that squeeze and that pause on again, okay? I'm going to go for 15 this side, Hannah's going to go for 15 left, 15 right, so I'll have a slight break between her doing her back exercise and her bicep exercise, and then I'll go in as soon as she's finished, all right, we'll swap over. Can I just double check? You can double check. one we did up and twist, yeah. this one is it a hammer curl? No, this one's up and twist is oh, a work okay. that we're going together now, okay. so you're going to have, and you're still up guys, so you're going to have to engage your core that much more. Okay. Right, so when you're taking hold of the waist, it's quite easy to start doing this, all right, obviously what we don't want to do, we're taking away the, the seat now, so you haven't got that back support, so you've got to embrace the core, all right, or engage the core, and really nice and slow, working it away, okay? Ready in three. Two, one, let's go. Uh, the main reason that I'm not doing hammer curls is because at that tennis at home, I can't actually do it at the minute. Really. So if anyone else wants to do hammer curls, you crack on. Oh, good. Oh, try to stay on my pace there. Six, seven, nice control on the way down. Good enough, I'll have that control on the third set. Good. Go side on so you can see that my core's nice and engaged. Ten, good. Come on, let's get that twelve minimum. Gone, 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 gone. Go if I pushed that next three, guys, I probably could have got them, but I wouldn't have maintained that form. Both sides, no. other side. Then let's go. So I've got that that break then, now, guys. That little pause between going into this one and the next one. Hannah will really enjoy that break in a minute when I'm doing the row exercise and she's doing the bicep exercise. So Hannah will stay that side of the chair. I'm just going to literally adopt that position that she's in at the minute. I probably won't look as good as that though. Are you nodding? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am going to do hammer curls, guys. Good, and let's go. So I'm just not putting that twist in at the top. Okay, stay with my pace then, stay with Hannah's pace if you with the biceps. Right. Ten with me. How many for you, Hannah? Nine. Remember, when you say nine, you're going to say it in a German accent. Come on, Hannah. I'm not past that now. <laughs> <laughs> Good, change your arms with me. Okay, so Hannah gets the break. That's me on ten. That's five. Two left. Good, nice work. Okay, Hannah's into the row. I'm into the biceps. This is going to be tough. Again, guys, little pulls here in the middle, I'll just chuck them down just to push myself through that last four. Now, that's one thing I have noticed during this lockdown. Obviously, doing a lot of body weight work, um, a lot of stuff in the garage on the punch bag, and that generally my body weight stuff is feeling a lot better. Uh, weight to strength ratio, but my actual strength for lifting. Just pure weight is, is down quite a lot, just because we haven't got that heavy weight. So don't be surprised if you're in that same position, guys. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. 
Uh, how you've noticed it, haven't you, with the deadlift? Yeah, definitely. We've got a 40 kilogram bar, um, which Hannah would normally deadlift quite easily. You found you've had to drop a fair bit, haven't you? Yes. We just do much less reps than I could normally get. But we find we're doing a lot more reps on lighter weight. Good, two more. Good, I'm changing. Ten. That's five for me then. We're going to go into that final set. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. So straight into it. Whoa. Let's go. Last set of these. until Hannah's finished hers. Good form, Hannah, so much work. Good, so as soon as Hannah's finished her row on her right, I'm going to start on my right. I think we need to get this chair logoed up, don't we? <laughs> Good, let's go. I can be on my right. Lovely, over it goes onto my left feet. That's all on my left. That's fine. one. What we're going to do on the next one guys, we're going to go for a close grip curl, okay? So I'm going to attempt, because this is going to be into the hammer position, okay, so I'm going to attempt to go with both of them, keeping them squeezed nice and close together. If I'm struggling with the two tens, I'll drop to Hannah's two fives. If I'm struggling with that even further, all I'll do is I'll just take hold of one, so into this position, okay, so the whole time we're squeezing the inner part of the chest, okay, and we're just chucking those elbows in nice and tight and squeeze. So if you've got a particularly heavy weight, you could drop one. Okay, just go with one of them. Right? If your weights are quite light, we'll go with two. We'll really get a nice squeeze on there. That's going to be the bicep exercise. I'll demonstrate that properly now. So, again, take hold. This will be Hannah. Okay, so squeeze in here. And we're just there. Nice small movement. Squeeze in. Okay, I'm going to go into this position. Okay, I'm going to sit my bum right at the edge of the bench or the chair. Okay, and the hands are going to go hand in eight. I'm going to go into a bent over position and I'm squeezing. Nice and slowly, all the way back in. Okay, you ready? Who's going up? Which one do you want to do first? I'll right? do the back press. You want to do the back press? I've okay. just finished all biceps. Perfect, so Hannah's going to start with back, I'm going to start with biceps. Let's go in three, two, one. So I'm dropping down to the last five, just with the one weight. Good. Nice work. Okay. Inhale. Inhale. Good. Five. Five. 
last time with me. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Two more. Nice work. Good, Hannah. Good. 30 seconds off then. We're going to go again together. Enjoying that one. Woo! Okay, 30 seconds. We're going to go again. Alright, 20 seconds. Good, ready in 15. God, it's always really hot when we're doing the house. Open the, Open the door. Okay, ready in five, four, three, two, let's go. Stretch at the end, get the hands out, I'm back in. Come on, let's go. Eight. Ten, come on. Let's get a minimum to us. Two more. I'm just going to open that back door up, get a bit of air coming through. Get a little bit warm. Good. 30 seconds off. Let's see if we've had any thing going on. Sue Collins, glad I'm finished for the day. Oh, it's tough, Sue. Really tough. Don't trust Hannah with a 40 kilogram bar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not over the top of the yeah, of the top of the tiles, Kate. Definitely kept her on the deck in this time, mate. <laughs> okay, guys, five seconds. Last set. Right, you just drifted off somewhere. Yeah. Still with us? Yeah. <sighs> Three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Extension, 
bringing it in. Okay? So there'll be a part, a part here where Hannah will um, still be working, but I get that natural break. So it's quite a quick superset. All right? Whew, right bro. It's quite hard talking in the baby <laughs> Okay, so you're going to drop your elbow just down to the other side, tricep on the nice soft part of the quad. Let's go. So close grips, like bending those knees for me. Back nice and straight, so nice hollow in the back, don't want to be all hunched over. Little pause at the top. Really engage. Those one boys. And traps. Last one. Tricep into the quad. Good, man, nice work. So, guys, last cooking demo tonight. We're going to do a bit of a Lebanese feast. It could be a little bit of a longer one this evening. Um, you've got lots of different things going on. I'll put the ingredients up today for anyone that does want to follow along. Um, but what I'd really, really like to see is anyone that's tuned in to the cooking classes um, at all. Throughout lockdown, let's just get everyone on board for this last one. I'd like to do a little bit of prize given. Let's go. Um, for people that have gone over and above, um, helped us out maybe during lockdown four. Five. We're also going to announce six. How much had a sister race at the weekend? Uh, that's going to be on failure. And also, then how many meals that will equate to? Next week that we're going to produce and deliver to the NHS and key workers. On that note, she is literally 15 pounds away from 1,500. I believe the page was closed last night though, you might want to check it. She's kept it open because ah. she's determined to get to the 1,500. <laughs> so if anyone's got a spare few quid, that would be much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> No one wants to finish 15 pounds short of it. Well, considering she only set a target of 150 in the beginning, she's done pretty well. Good, yeah, ready? Let's go. Yeah, very good. Good. 
lovely. Nice work. So I'm resting there quickly before Hannah goes. I could have just that bicep one. Good hands. Sit up nice and straight. That's it. Perfect. Good. Well done, that's fine. Ten. Ten, that's good. So just working to failure now, guys. What I to say there, Hannah, rather than being over here, try and sit up nice and straight. Get that elbow in and let's go. One more. Six. Four. Five. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I need to finish that. And I'm gone. Okay. Give yourselves a hand, guys. Well done. Have a quick drink. Let's get those weights out of the way. Let's get the chair out of the way. In fact, we'll keep the chair there. The chair's good for one of the stretches that we can do. Right, so 30 seconds, we're going to go to some nice stretches. So guys, if you look at that, what we've just done, we've got a lot of exercises and a lot of reps there done, all in 30 minutes. Right, so when you see, um, I don't know, some people in the gym, unless you're working on strength, I like to get in there and get it done. Right, I've, I've got other things to be doing, don't get me wrong, I enjoy my training, but when I'm in the gym, I want to get in there, have a plan in mind, and go whack, let's do this. Um, unless I'm working on strength, where I'm doing uh, three to five reps and I'm resting for a long time, you know, walking around the gym, chatting to people, you know, and giving myself that time to rest. Otherwise, I want to get in, get it smashed. So we've just done hell of a lot there, and I, I don't feel like I could do a great deal yeah. more now without dropping weights. Track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you and Pat on to that note, Hannah just turns that way. Hannah's talking about trapezius muscles. So when we do those shrugs, these ones at the beginning, okay, you'll notice that that, that muscle runs right down the middle here as well. And that's uh, obviously what we were trying to hit. So a lot of people will do traps on the shoulder day, which is absolutely fine. But the larger part of the muscle actually runs down the middle of the back. Okay, let's take hold of fingers, palm facing away, and let's just get a nice stretch into that tendon. All right, often if you've done a bit of a, a bicep session and you've done lots of reps, uh, the next day the back can be quite sore. I know when I've been on the phone the next day, and I've been stood there on the phone for a long time, and I'd go to take the phone away, and I'm like, oh my God! So. You might well be um, conditioned, um, but it's also, it's not just about muscle conditioning, but you're also going to condition tendons. I've had quite a few problems with tendons on different endurance runs and that, that's about Achilles um, EDL tendon. Good. Um, also, talking of which, a um, good friend of mine and the former boss, Baz Gray, um, part of the outdoor athlete community, good, change arms, is doing a 80 miler on Sunday, starting from the London Inn at Horror Bridge, raising money for the Royal Rings charity, and he's going to do um, a loop, basically, uh, three times around, he's going to start at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, and he's going to do um, a, a big loop right around uh, Borough Tour, Prince Town, um, you can have a little look on the outdoor community uh, website, not website, uh, Facebook page, uh, we're going to pop out and take him some food, Keep him going. We've also um, got a link on DB Fitness page if you want to find yeah. it that way. Um, Hannah's, uh, Hannah's going to do 11 miles with him, aren't you? Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do eight. <laughs> Good. Let's go here, then, guys. I'm going to go into this position and I'm going to get a nice stretch through my back muscles. Hannah's going to go into this position and just get another nice stretch through that tendon there. Okay. So I'm in that position. I'm just going to put my foot on it. So put your arm on a wall or door frame and just. Turn your body the other way so that you're facing ahead, getting a nice stretch right down through the arm. And I'm just pulling my shoulder blades back, sticking my bum out, just getting a nice pull on that chair. But obviously, it's not locked down on anything, so just use it to kind of pull against. Don't put all your weight against it because you end up on your butt. You change arms for me. Okay, I'm going to rest, I'm going to start that one that Hannah's doing. Ooh. So I believe um, Baz is already on about like, just over a thousand pounds on his um, charity page as well. A lot of charities have really taken a hit throughout this kind of period, guys. Yeah, it seems like we're constantly pushing for money, but that's exactly what's happening. They're not getting the government funding or grants and they're really struggling. And obviously for charities like the Royal Marines Charity and other um, Rock to recovery. To support for mental health. This is obviously a really key time for a lot of people struggling with isolation. 
cool, I'm going to change arms. Okay, I'm just going to take my foot off that. There you go. I'm just sticking my foot on it so it doesn't uh, fall over. And it weighs quite a lot. <laughs> good, guys. Last little bit then. So, join us tonight. Lebanese food, prize giving, surprise guest. We're going to announce how much Simone and her daughter Sophia raised at the weekend um, and how, much, how many meals that's going to equate to next week. Join Baz, we'll have a look at the outdoor athlete community um, on my page or on his page. Do you have want to come and that. do a leg? Fancy a little run? Fancy a little run on Sunday. Looks like it's... Is on there, <laughs> so, good guys. Um, I'll have a look a little through the, um, all the, the notes and messages and that in a minute and I'll reply to everyone. Other than that, hopefully see you tonight. Take it easy. Laters.